Hi everyone, my name is Nora Zalina and today I will be presenting the founder of Uniqlo which is Tadashi and I. Please enjoy my presentation and let's get started. As you can see, the person in front of me is Tadashi Anai. He is the person that I choose for my presentation. This is my content from my presentation for today. There will be a background, entrepreneur mindset, innovation, entrepreneur opportunity, pathway adapted to entrepreneur venture, insightful and key takeaways learned from the entrepreneur. Now let's see. <clears throat> now let's see the background of Tadashi Anai. He is the founder and president of Fast Selling, uh, Fast Retailing, the parent company of Uniqlo. Yanai was born in Ub, Yamaguchi in February 1949. He is the son of Kanachi Yanai and Hisako Mori Yanai. Yanai is married and has two sons, Kazumi and Koji, and lives in Tokyo. He was ranked the richest at 41st richest in the world by Forbes and the richest in Japan with estimated net worth of US 24.3 billion. He is a Japanese and his career in 1971, Yanai started in business by selling kitchenware and men's clothing at Jusko supermarket. After a year at Jusko, he quit and joined his father's roadside tailor shop. Yanai opened his first Uniqlo store in Hiroshima in 1984. And as you can see, he also won the International Retailer of the Year Award for 2010 from the National Retail Federation. And he is the 50 most influential list of Bloomberg's market magazine. Next is the entrepreneurial mindset of the entrepreneur. As you can see, there are three entrepreneurial mindset of Tadashi Anai. First one is drive to achieve. Yanai believes that it is important to study your competition and he studies global brands like H&M, Spencer and Gap to see what they do right and wrong, and he can learn from them. However, do not limit to study the competitors in their, study, in their industry. Tadashi believes it is important to think outside the comfort zone because it helps you to get better understanding of other markets which could come against you in the future as well. Next is risk taker. In the light of changing global marketplace, Tadashi believed that it is important to take risks as long as the company doesn't go bankrupt. As an entrepreneur, Tadashi needs to constantly evaluate the situation and believe that if you don't take risks, you will never profit. Next is going to be innovation. Yanai always a proponent for innovation. He often stressed the importance of adaptability in an increasingly speedy world. Consumers always want something new. As a result, the market set new rules that you either create or follow. Yanai regularly said that if you do either, you're setting your business up for failure. One of Yanai's famous philosophies is change or die. Next, we're gonna talk about innovation. Tadashi Anai has used the artificial intelligence in its store that read people's brain to help them to find what they will like. Select store have AI power you, you mode kiosks that shows customer a variety of products then measure their reaction to the color and style through neo transmitter. According to Tadashi, this is innovation that was the first time created and been implemented in clothing line industry. Based on each, each person's reaction, the kiosk then recommended products. Customers don't have to push the button. Their brain signals are enough for the system to know how they feel about each item. 
This kind of innovation not only creates the opportunity to additional cells, it also strengthens the connection and bond between the, between the brand and consumer and customer. Next, we're going to be emphasizing its innovation in the fabric. Tadashi is well known for its, for its fabric innovation, developed new high-tech fabrics for Uniqlo. One of Uniqlo's signature innovation is heat tech. It is a fabric developed in conjunction with Torre, Torre Industry that turns moisture into heat and has a pocket in the fabric to retain the heat. Besides heat tech, Uniqlo also created a season, a soft fabric with quick dry in the fabric. Um, besides that, life wear, a black a blend between casual and sportwear, and then a UV cut material designed to prevent 90% ultraviolet rays from reaching the wearer. These new fabrics are all branded and copyright, which poses, which poses a struggle for competitors who want to try and attempt to match this point of difference. Tadashi and I has been quoted to say that Apple is its largest competitors because of the company's desire to be innovative company in the world. Next, going to be assessment of entrepreneurial opportunity of the entrepreneur. The first one is collaboration with designer. In line with brands promise to highlight each individual's unique individual styles. Tadashi collaborates with designers to create unique styles. By collaborating with global designers, Uniqlo is also able to gain quicker access into market where it has a weaker brand awareness like European market and American market. Second, it will create something for different audience segments. Next, going to be a market sustainability. Tadashi introduced the concept of lifewear clothing, which according to the company is reasonability price clothing designed for a very long term. This is philosophy Uniqlo has attracted customers who advocate the use of responsible material and manufacturer process. The lifewear concept symbolizes the company's commitment to achieve a, stance, a sustainable society, which certainly helps foster this connection with the with with the customer who cares for the same cause. Next, gonna be a pathway adapted to entrepreneurial venture by the entrepreneur. As you can see, Uniqlo is new all approaches. Basically, it is adapted someone. Uh, basically, it is adapted from his father and improvised the idea to become something new. After finishing his graduation, he started by selling men's clothing and kitchenware at Jusco's supermarket. After spending a year at Jusco, he quit the job. He joined his father's tailoring business known and named as Ogori Soji. Yanai moved to start his first Uniqlo shop in the year 1984 in Hiroshima. Inspired by his travels to Europe and the US, where he discovered large casual apparel chains like Gap and H&M, Tadashi, Tadashi show immense potential for Japanese uh, for Japan casual market wear market and set goal to in, evolve the family business strategy from sweating to casual clothing by fashion goods in bulk but at a low cost. Next, gonna be insightful and keys. Takeaways take learned from the entrepreneur. I believe everyone has their own insightful and key takeaways take learned from entrepreneur, right? For me, I believe that the first one is opportunity, opportunities. When a brand starts to gain popularity in its country and region, the next natural step would be look to expand globally. This is especially for you, for Uniqlo, but the brand has met the consideration challenges. Up until now, the brand footprint and awareness are relatively low outside of Asia, something the company is tackling through global retail store expand program. 
advertising and marketing. It is product notable differences between global customer groups have been overlooked and Western customer often complain about his cloth size and fit the body shape. To tackle this, Tadashi has started partnership with Western design like Christopher Limer and launching collection like Uniqlo Uline. Next, gonna be uh, optimistic. I believe, Mr. and I believe that people are usually afraid of failure so they don't end up succeeding success. He mentioned that if one doesn't fail and learn from it, one will not be able to succeed. Uniqlo Deeper in China and US brought a major losers as well as in European. After failing, it is a lit amazing fire in me, he says. Failure should not be seen as a failure, but be challenging by it. Hence, Tadashi decided to make his own line of clothing and control the quality of product. This means starting over with a new concept, but he was determined to do so. And he's seen massive success ever since then. Today, Uniqlo is a whole own subsidiary of fast return company limited, and it is known for provi providing high quality private level casual wear at low prices. That's all from me. Thank you.